What's up gamers, I'm here to give you the newest updates for Insanity Flight and what you have missed since the beginning of the year. This might confuse you when you get back on the game, so better watch till the end so you can catch up and won't wonder what's going on. So there are a lot of updates that have been added but I'll just introduce to you the major ones so far. Let's start with the updates that you might not know. Insanity Dungeons now have difficulty settings where you will get a new pop-up which allows you to select how hard core you wish when entering an instance. Depending on what difficulty you set, you'll either get more or less drops. But be advised that the more you choose it harder, they drop more, but the boss and gameplay will be on hardcore mode. For example, the nightmare difficulty where you can't use holy scrolls, resu scrolls, and if you die you spawn away from the boss. Not only that, the HP and the defense of the boss will be higher. But the good thing though is that the drop rate has an additional 4 percent as well so better gear up and party with your friends also when diving on extreme and nightmare mode dungeons they added a middle boss for example sand press apresia Kyrnos, and clockworks if you complete an instance on either extreme or nightmare difficulty each participant in the party limited to one character rewarded per computer will receive a tier bag reward and it's time to if it's on nightmare mode this provides a chance to receive a drop from that tier. So depending on the tier of the boss, you get the chance having this item from the tier reward bag. Also for easier navigation inside instances, it has now have an on-screen tracker on the mid bosses and bosses you need to kill so it's easier to track. Next up for the updates is the, the achievement. I know it's a big hassle when you want to finish something under this one because you need to close and open it before. Now they added an option where you just tick this box and a tracker will show up like a quest on your screen which is more convenient now. Before we continue, just hit that subscribe and like button. This way, this video will show up on a lot of players so that we can invite more players to play with us. Next up on the list is introducing you the new BVE items which is the dark Aura. To the old players, you would remember the Dragon Lord items, but it is used for PvP nowadays. Insanity now has the Dark Aura sets, which has a level 350 requirement, and more likely concentrated on giving more additional damage or defense against monsters and bosses. For accessories, three more were added, which are PvP, PvE, and Tank Dark Aura sets. They might cost more compared to the mythical accessories we've known before, like Moonstone, but they provide more stats. I know for sure or you remember the Dragon Lord wing mask? Now they have the Dark Orth wing mask and cloak as well. Concentrated again to add more PvE damage or defense from monsters or bosses. I'll put a link on the description so you can compare the new items from the old ones. Next up, this might pique your interest. Insanity Flife now has a daily log in reward system where you log in each day to receive a reward. Missing a day will not reset your progress. Once you hit day 18, the rewards will reset back to day one the rare cs box rewards on the right side run on a separate reset and will reset once you hit a 30. guild finder you can now set your guild up to show up in our new guild finder window when you open your guild tab and you can also find a guild by just going to the menu features and guild finder to those who like to do colosseum color rankings are now available and if you get the top one position you'll have an emblem on your character like the mvp party up with your friends finish the Colosseum, get a lot of soul fragments, and flex being the top one. This might be a funny update, but when you actually loot a rare drop from the boss, the system will announce it to the whole server, so if you get something good, everyone will know. <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard about this, there are new scrolls that have been added, like Super Epic Awakening Scroll, which is an upgrade from the Epic Awakening Scroll, the different shows on the table. Another new scroll is the Superior Revert Transmutation Scroll, which you can actually use to get back the fashion you use in transmuting like the sacrificial item and the scroll of awakening reshuffle is actually a new one which literally reshuffles the sequence of your awake if you are an OCD guy where you want to have the same awake clients there are more updates that were added like removing the treasure chest and treasure keys but the event treasure chest are still available the additional is the new treasure chest 
instance that is given to you as a reward every time you finish a dungeon instance. Just minor improvements to the quality of life, fixing bugs, and more. So I'll put the link on all the updates in the video description and let me know which update you like the most in the comment section. I hope this helped you get updated on the newest things on Insanity Flife and if you weren't able to see the last year updates, check this video out.